Hello guys, I'm Nerd Press. How's it going? Today, we're going to be talking about Darling the Franks. Episode 13... 14? Yeah, 14. <laughs> 14! So yeah, um, it's going to be a big ranting video because honestly this video... Or this, not video, this episode uh, is just about the conflict between Hero and Zero Two and the rest of the gang. It's more of the rest of the game Zero Two, to be honest, because honestly, they they help like the whole squad, their team besides Hero, because he's hospitalized. Is that like they keep Zero Two hostage or like in house arrest because like she was like trying to turn Hero into a, a monster, um, a Kalaxosaur like her or something like that, half Kalaxosaur, half human, like something a hybrid like she was. So it's just something like, wow. So, yes, they kept her on house arrest because they found out and they didn't want her to see Hero. And, but, like, the sad thing is she's le she was leaving in a couple of days. So they couldn't even say goodbye. But, let's be sure, they have a mission soon for, together with the words, 0, 2, into the 9 A's or whatever you want to call them. And the, and Squad 13 9 A's are on a joint mission next episode, I believe? Next episode? So maybe Hero and Zero Two will come back into contact with each other, and boom, it'll be all fine and dandy again. This is my prediction, which is probably gonna happen because it's anime. Main protagonist powers, you gotta say that right. <laughs> but yeah, so they keep freaking Zero Two in house arrest for like the, the majority of the episode. But freaking Zero Two is savage though, cause like when she finally get like snaps, she like hurts everyone in the house. Like she starts throwing like freaking what's his name Goro around, and he breaks a cup. <laughs> and yeah, so then they finally agree to let Zero Two meet Hero. But when they go, Hero's plan is already into action because he wanted to escape the hospital room because they weren't letting him leave either. So he escaped, but at the wrong time, because when they got there, Zero Two was like, you lied to me, you freaking all gone, they, you lied, he wasn't here, you guys just lured me because he was already gone, then they come back, and it's like, and Hero's like, when Hero go, then the, like, Zero Two does it going all savage, and, and it freaking hurts all of them pretty badly, like, like they're all on the ground, and Hero gets back to the hospital room, because he thinks Zero Two's in a room, and it gets to the... The dorm house, and, and they're like, she's not there, she's at the hospital hurting everyone else. Then when he gets there, she already has um, Ichigo in her hands, and he's like choking her, like holding her collar up, like, like that. And it's like, he's like, what are you doing? And then like, she, he calls her the real monster, and it's freaking, she's like, oh, this is my punishment, this is my punishment for trying to turn him into someone like me, a not human. This is my punishment for using him, and it's like, she just thinks it's his punishment, and leaves. She like, gets all calm, and like, after that, she just leaves, like, she's gone. Then like, but, 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 Hero was going, you know how like, when Hero, when Zero Two is first getting escorted out, when Hero stopped her? He was trying to do that again, but, freaking Ichigo was like, no, and like, she stalled Shuro for the longest time, like, kissing him, like, three or four or five times, and confessing her love, and just, for just enough time that the plane could take off. So it was like, they kept her captive, then they didn't let the hero see her and have a proper conversation. And then even Zero Two stops Hero, and, like, the thing is, Hero could only pilot with Zero Two, so it's kind of... It's kind of pretty mean to Hero too, because like, once Zero Two leaves, he has no part in the Squad 13. He is useless without Zero Two. On the other hand, Zero Two can ride with anybody, but Z Hero is only for Zero Two because I'm, I'm theorizing that it's because he licked her blood, and then it's his his um capability with everyone else slowly went down the drain. By the time they're about to become official f pilots, his ability was gone. So then, yeah, the Zero Two's gone. 
Ichigoku confessed her love, and Goro was watching, which, oh, God. Spice. <laughs> but yeah. Guys, if you enjoyed my little ranting, this is like, I explained it the best I could. This episode annoyed me a tiny bit, because like I wanted to see more Hero and Zero 2 conversations, but it didn't really happen, so I was kind of disappointed. But this episode is still pretty good all around. Like, honestly, I'm more excited for this show than My Academia at this point. But here, My Academia comes out first, so yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Remember to hit the bell, too, because that's important these days. So yeah. Bye.